Good morning. Day 208. Cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and pantry meals. So this morning I went out and I fertilized my zucchini. I was a matchmaker. So we'll see how she grows. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of pollinators back there. I'm trying to attract them. I have a lot in the front. I should plant some cone flowers, which are these flowers right here, the echinacea, which is also a medicinal plant. They're good for coals and those sorts of things. But I should plant a couple of those in maybe a grow box back there because the bees love those. They're all over my cone flowers in the front yard. So today is sort of a cloudy day, which would be really nice for working in the garden, but it's supposed to rain later, which is fine with me. I enjoy rainy days now and then. Too much sun, and you don't appreciate it as much as you do when you have a little bit of weather variation. I like the rain, I always have. Of course, I'm not talking about Noah's Ark rain. I'm talking about just regular old rain. I really enjoy it. So, today I have lots of leftovers. So, I probably won't be cooking much of anything, but if you're interested, hang around and I'll show you what I'm having for leftovers. So far, I started reading the survival book, and so far I'm liking it. Um, I still have a lot of reading to do in it, but it's informative. And hopefully I learned something new, because we can always learn something new. So, I'll be back in a little while. And we'll see what's for breakfast, day 208. Oh, I wanted to ask a question, too. For the last couple days, I've posted some music in with my morning chat. A couple of you said they liked it, and a couple of you said that you were having trouble hearing me talk. I had the volume on the music turned down very low, but let me know in the comments below if you like it, if you don't like it, and we'll go with the majority. Because I don't want anybody not to be able to hear me. <laughs> because I have such profound things to say. Anyway, time to add a little creamer to my coffee. I almost forgot. For me, creamer makes it. I know a lot of people drink their coffee black or just sugar. I tried that for a while, but it just wasn't my cup of coffee. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. I'm getting more red tomatoes on my little tiny tim in my Ambiano garden. So I think today is the day I'm going to eat this one. I want to try it before it splits. So there we go. That'll be with my breakfast. And over here, this one has some little tomatoes coming up, but nothing happening yet. So I'm going to give this a try and see if this winter It'll be a viable source of some food. It won't sustain me for the whole winter, but it might be a fun project. Okay, let's see what's for breakfast, day 208. I have um, tomatoes that I got from my last haul. I need to eat up this yogurt. So I'm going to have that. Um, let's see. I still have this 
avocado mash. I have lots of leftovers. And back there, I have a roll, one roll left. So I have to dig that out. So that is what is for breakfast, day 208. All right, I will meet you at the stove. Okay, so I have my breakfast made here. I got out some of the potato salad I made the other day. Just from microwaved potatoes. I think I'll make some more. It was really good. And my um, avocado and tomato roll. And then I finished up my yogurt. And I put grapes and strawberries on there. A little bit of cinnamon sugar. Yummy, yummy. So that should be good. I have a tiny bit of potato salad left. I have a few strawberries left, not too many. Um, I'm going to dry some celery leaves. And I got my first tomatoes out of the garden. These are early girl. So I'm going to let these sit a couple days to get a little riper. And then, of course, my little cherry tomato. And I'm going to give this a taste. So let's see my first Ambiano tomato, what it tastes like. It's good. Skin is a little tough. But you have that with some tomatoes, but the flavor is good. So I'll be growing those this winter. And everybody knows what this tastes like. I've already tasted it before. So I'm going to have my breakfast now. And okay, then I'll be so back. I have my breakfast made here. I got out some of the potato salad I made the other day. Just from microwaved potatoes. I think I'll make some more. It was really good. And my um, avocado and tomato roll. And then I finished up my yogurt. And I put grapes and strawberries on there. A little bit of cinnamon sugar. Yummy, yummy. So that should be good. I have a tiny bit of potato salad left. I have... A few strawberries left, not too many. Um, I'm going to dry some celery leaves. And I got my first tomatoes out of the garden. These are early girl. So I'm going to let these sit a couple days to get a little riper. And then, of course, my little cherry tomato. And... I'm going to give this a taste. So let's see my first Ambiano tomato, what it tastes like. It's good. Skin is a little tough. But you have that with some tomatoes, but the flavor is good. So I'll be growing those this winter. And everybody knows what this tastes like. I've already tasted it before. So I'm going to have my breakfast now. And okay, then I'll it's be back. already 8 o'clock and I'm not still not hungry. But I want to make this chicken salad. Um so I cooked this corn chicken in some um, um, vegan chickenless seasoning, and then I added some spices. If you want to see how I made that, check out yesterday's video. But I have a little bit here. I made a pot pie out of some of it, and um, 
the rest of this I want to make into a chicken salad, but I want to cut it up a little bit because the pieces are kind of big. So I'm just going to chop this up with a pair of uh, kitchen shears. Probably be easier if I put it on a board, but this will work. So I'm going to chop this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I chopped this up just in little pieces. I don't want it like a ground-up consistency, but you could do that too. And I have some celery I'm trying to use up. Uh, so, and I like a little crunch with it. I've got some green onion that's going in too. And add whatever you like. If you want to put cucumber, whatever. So I have some onion powder. Now these little nuggets are already chicken flavor. So... I don't think I need to add more of the chickenless seasoning. This is garlic powder. This is some mayo that I got from the Dollar Tree that I got from my stash. So I'm going to put a good, good little bit of that in there. And a little more. Okay, and then one of my favorite mustards, the dill mustard. Now this is pretty much my go-to recipe for a lot of different salads, potato salad, um, pasta salad if I want a creamy one. Uh, so a little bit of the, the dill mustard. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of the dill relish. You could add sweet relish too, if you like that better. And that's it. Oh, some pepper. I don't know if it needs salt. But I can add that after I get this mixed up. So that's all there is to it, and then I'm going to put this on a sandwich. But honestly, I'm not hungry. I, my stomach has not been right for a couple days. But I do want to make this ahead for tomorrow, maybe. This would make a good brunch. And I can see already I'm going to need more mayonnaise. So, we will add more mayonnaise. Alright, so today I ordered some mason jars from Walmart and I ordered the wide mouth quart jars. And they ended up sending me regular mouth pint jars. So, I'm going to take those back. Um, because I really can't use those. So I'll take those back to the store, maybe tomorrow. And they were probably out of the wide mouth jars, and I did not put don't substitute. But, you know, pints and quarts aren't exactly similar. So let me give this a little taste, see if it needs any salt. Nope, it's good. So I'm going to put this back in the fridge till tomorrow. And my daughter and I went to Costco today. I needed dog treats. So I got two bags of dog treats. Um, that doesn't, that's not really included in my food budget. And then my daughter bought a big loaf of sourdough bread, so she got me or she gave me a third of the loaf. And these, I ordered these jars from Walmart too. Now these are half gallon jars. And I ordered, 
it came six six of these for like twelve dollars and I got two of these because I want to put these on my shelves and I want to put beans and rice and things like that so I don't always have to run downstairs into my um, working pantry or my uh, prep prepper pantry that's what I'm trying to say so back in the fridge this goes and then I also made three of these vegan cookies I have a little bit of the cookie dough left that I got from Costco quite a while ago I have like maybe six cookies left so I made these for some time and then since I put in that Walmart order I did end up getting my favorite bread from Walmart but they didn't have the sesame seed and they sent me the sliced instead of the whole so I'm going to freeze chunks of this and just have it available so I have lots of bread so I'm going to be eating lots of sandwiches and this will go on a sandwich I still have a little bit of the not tuna salad I made the other day so that's for a sandwich so um, today's a little bit shorter video um, I'm going to go relax a little bit since it's already 830 and uh, that's all I have for you today so I want to wish you abundant blessings I love you guys be good to yourself be good to others God bless you and I'll see you next time If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.